Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Pretty excited. Just got a new saw, a new toy, like 30 minutes ago, and had to just <laughs> set everything up, shoot a video so I could just, I don't know, share it with you guys quick. I was kind of excited about it, so be sure to stick around. <laughs> Like I said, new chainsaw. If you saw the cover photo, you know it is the GTA 26 made by Steel. And honestly, I think this is their smallest saw currently. So <laughs> I'm pretty excited. If you can't tell, I'm really excited. I <laughs> think that I don't know. I don't know what I think about this yet. It looks pretty cool though. Uh, yeah. Anyway, the box was uh, already opened at the store because when I bought it. Even the salespeople actually wanted to check it out, so we just opened it up on their counter so they could see what was in there and kind of go over the whole thing, which, no big deal. Now, this kit, you get the saw, you get a battery, you get a charger, you get a little holder with it, you get a little bit of oil, and everything comes in for right around uh, 150 bucks. Actually, it's 149.95 before tax. Don't get me wrong, you could get a real size MS-170 for that gas-powered saw when they go on sale. But I've already got a few of those, and like I said, I thought this thing was just too cool to pass up. So when you open the box, you get this little carrying case, right? Just Velcros, things fall out here, and there you are. Now, in that case, you got your saw, little pamphlet, you got some oil, charger, and your battery. Now the battery is only like a 10 point something or another amp battery. It ain't big. Like, it's a little fella. Look at this thing. Tiny, right? A little battery. This is nothing compared to the battery saws that I already have, like my MSA 160, MSA 200. Now those cut like real saws. I'm not sure how this is gonna cut. I mean, this is like a small drill battery, but we'll see. Um. I don't know why I'm so excited about this thing. It looks more like a toy than a real chainsaw, but I love it already. <laughs> when you've got like a 440 Magnum, you got a 250, a 193, some 170s, you run your battery saws, and then you find something that's like really, really tiny. I don't know. You just got to add it to the collection. It's, it's neat. So if you guys watch and follow my channel, you know we're going to use this thing in the future a bunch. And I think you already know what I'm going to use it on. And if you don't, we're gonna be using this thing on some chainsaw carved bears. I mean, why not, right? Why not? You can see how small this thing is, right? This has a four inch bar, got this safety deal on top. Listen, I've only done a little bit of research on this, all right, so bear with me. Four inch bar, quarter, inch, quarter pitch Pico chain. That's a small chain. And uh, yeah, takes this battery. Which honestly, when I got it, the battery was dead. I've had it on charge for almost 30 minutes and it's almost fully charged. So I think a full 30 minutes will probably charge it, maybe 35. We've got this little button on the side. You hit, shows you the battery life, right? It's all green. We got four bars or three bars. Looks like there should be four. Little lever on the side. Push it down with your thumb. Squeeze. Look at that thing. So you hold it up here, push her down, give her a seat. we're cutting. I haven't used it yet. Not gonna use it in this video, okay? You guys are gonna have to keep an eye out here in the future for uh, a video using this. We'll probably just cut some small sticks, you know, for a first video, or maybe we'll just go right into uh, carving a mini bear or detailing a bear. It's kind of my plan to really give this thing a try. Now it does come with a battery charger, nothing special. Um, it just ends up lighting up green when the battery's in there. It, it doesn't really, nothing blinks or flashes. I mean, maybe when it's done, like I said, it wasn't fully charged, so maybe it'll flash when it's done or turn off. I'm not sure. Like I said, just got it, guys. These things just came out not too long ago. I've seen a bunch of YouTube videos also popping up with these, and I want to say they released them middle to the end of 2019. But it seems as though people are really starting to check them out now in 2020. And I just thought it'd be really fun to, uh, to share with you guys because I just picked it up today. So one other thing, this does not 
have an oil reservoir. So you can't put any oil anywhere to lube the chain. So they give you this bottle of multi oil bio. You get 50 milliliters. It's not a whole lot. You guys see it? So from what I understand, you put a little bit on the chain here and there, make your cuts. Probably just a drop or two. Make some cuts, drop or two, whatever. You guys know if you run chainsaws, you want to keep that chain lubed up. So put a couple drops on and, and do it as you go. My plan is to have this thing out there and maybe just do regular bar oil at one time, see how it goes. But I'm not sure because this does not spin super fast. And maybe the thin oil will be best. We'll see. It'll be something we're going to play with in an upcoming video. As soon as I get the time to, you know, put it together, get a piece of wood ready and do some cutting or carving or something fun. I don't know. When that video is up, though, you guys will get a link here or at the end of this video. You can follow and you'll go right to that. For real though, that's it you guys. Just wanted to show you this fun, cool new, what I'm calling a toy, but honestly it's a real chainsaw. It's a real chain on there. I actually think they call it a trimmer or something. I, whatever, you guys can look it up. Pique your interest in it, right? The GTA 26, made by steel. Go check it out. I wanna thank you guys for watching. Be sure to hit subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys next time.